So how quickly will these efforts pay off for China? I talked about that with Luis Aguilar. He's a sports journalist and the author of 10 books, including FIFA Nostra. He says it has been difficult for China to recruit top talent. Well, if you are talking about the 10 or 15 best players in the world right now and players with 25, 26 or 27 years old, they will not go to China because they don't want uh, to stop playing in the best European leagues. They don't want to stop playing in Champions League. But if you are talking about players that were among the best ones two, three years ago and uh, in the last seasons they were losing space in the best teams, these are the players that are available to go to China. These are the players like... Uh, Eskel Lavezzi, like Jackson Martinez, or like Ramirez, the ones that went for Chinese Super League teams uh, last January. Now, global football, as you know, dominated by big teams and big leagues, and you just named some of these uh, big names as well. Uh, so how difficult is it for new teams to actually gain traction? How long of a period does China have to go through to actually start to make some breakthroughs? Uh, you have the best example in Manchester City. In the last five or six years, they invested almost 450 millions in players and managers. Uh, and they won two Premier Leagues. And this is the first season they reached the Champions League semifinals. Uh, so China uh, will need a period like five years or six years to be able to win uh, in uh, a more continued way. Uh, but right now, the situation of Chinese football players is that they are very poor. Why is that, do you think? Uh, football is... Um beginning in China almost uh, you are giving the first steps right now uh, so if you are trying to create schools not only in China but also uh, in European countries like Portugal or Spain or Italy it will take time because the players that have now 12 years old or 30 years old they may be good players with 23 or 24 years old also uh, in the last 10 years or 15 years uh, some of the best players in Europe they were not playing in China so Chinese were competing with themselves with each others and they didn't have good examples of other players they didn't have good managers to learn with them so it will take time it will take a while uh, until uh, China can create a good national team and have also good football teams to compete with European teams let me ask you this question it, it let's say down the road a piece uh, China is able to strengthen uh, and and actually have stronger teams would that be bad for Western teams or is that a, a, a is competition actually healthy would you say that will be probably bad for Western teams. Uh, we have to remember that uh, Ars and Wenger in January, uh, after many top football players went to China, uh, was concerned about these movements and how this can influence uh, the quality of Premier League. We also know that this investment in China have a huge, a very strong government support. So probably is not something like a bubble that happened in Japan uh, five or six years ago, where they invest a lot of money in the first two or three years but then they decreased and they slowed down in China it appears they are not only trying to do this investment inside Chinese Super League but also in um, many football uh, teams in Europe like Manchester City Atletico Madrid they already have investment from Chinese groups and they also are creating a lot of schools in Europe so it seems a more serious way to do this investment but it will take time for sure